Hey guys, we're back to our balance and weighing unit. Okay, so you should have your book in front of you and we're gonna open up, we're gonna start weighing and we are gonna open up to this page right here that has the greater than, less than, or equal to sign. Remember last week when we used greater than, less than, or equal to during addition top it, that's what you're gonna use today to compare the weights of objects. So you're gonna use what's called the equal arm. So this is equal, this is unequal. Remember it's not the same, equal means the same. So equal arm and then balance. So whenever we have it balanced, that means they're the same. But what we're gonna do today is compare the objects of two things and their weight. So I'm gonna take the racquetball first. The first thing you're gonna do is have your bucket and then you can grab two objects out of it and compare which one weighs more than the other. So I'm gonna have my blue ball, my racket ball, and quietly put it in there. And then I'm gonna take my steel ball and put it in here. Okay, so when it goes down, that means that the steel ball is heavier than the racket ball. So on my piece of paper, just to keep it simple for you, you can write the word blue, ball, and then the steel, E-E-L, ball. Okay, and I'm gonna show you what my paper looks like now. So I have written blue ball and steel ball, and I'm gonna compare them, okay? The blue ball weighs less than the steel ball, okay? There are four, um, answers on here. So you need to compare your objects four times. Choose different objects to compare each time and write if they are less than, equal to, or more. So if I use this is called a prism in case you need to know the names. Okay, and we have a unifix cube, a spoon, a ping pong ball, a wooden block, so you would say block, B-L-O-C-K. And then you have a screw holder, it's a bolt really, which is an easier word. Okay, you need to go to your station and work quietly.